Hare Krishna, we continue reading from Bhagavad Gita as it is, Chapter 5, Karma Yoga, Action in Krishna Consciousness. We are on text 14. Na kartratvam na karmani lokasya srijati prabhu na karma phala samyogam svabhavastru tu pravartate Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samishla Prabhupada. The embodied spirit, master of the city of his body, does not create activities, nor does he induce people to act, nor does he create the fruits of actions. All this is enacted by the modes of material nature. The living entity, as will be explained in the seventh chapter, is one of the energies or natures of the Supreme Lord, but is distinct from matter, which is another nature called inferior of the Lord. So we, we, the souls, we are the energy of the Supreme Lord. And this material nature, she is also uh, called, she is also an energy of the Supreme Lord, but she is called inferior. And we, the souls, we are the superior energy of the Lord. And the difference is because of consciousness. We are spiritual. We are conscious. Material nature is not conscious. Prakrit, there is matter. Matter is not conscious. That's why it is inferior. But we, the spirit souls, we are conscious. And that's why we are called superior. And we are one of the energy of the Supreme Lord. Somehow, the superior nature, the living entity, has been in contact with material nature since time immemorial. So somehow or the other, we find ourselves in this material world. We find ourselves in this material body. And this has happened since time immemorial. The temporary body or material dwelling place which he obtains is the cause of varieties of activities and their resultant reactions. So why we are keeping on getting these different bodies? These, diff these bodies are all temporary. The material body, which we keep getting life after life, they are all temporary. Sometimes we are in the body of a human being, sometimes in the body of a tree, sometimes in the body of a plant or a bird or a fish. So the body is temporary. And so why are we getting these temporary bodies, different, different bodies? Because of how we act. However we are acting, we are creating a future body for ourselves. So in this human body, as we are acting, we are creating our future bodies. Living in such a conditional atmosphere, one suffers the results of the activities of the body by identifying himself in ignorance with the body. So we are the spirit soul. We are spiritual. We have nothing to do with this matter. But because of our ignorance, what's the ignorance? We thinking we are the body. We are thinking we are matter. And because of this consciousness, we are suffering. We are suffering uh, the results or we are enjoying the results of the activities. Now, mostly it is suffering because we are acting in ignorance. So that's why we do wrong activities. When we do wrong activities, when we act naughty, then the teacher is going to give us a, you know, we will get corrected by the teacher. Some teachers are easy. Some teachers will give up you know, a, a smack. So that's what keeps happening. It is ignorance acquired from time immemorial that is the cause of bodily suffering and distress. So it is ignorance. Ignorance that we are thinking we are the body. We are thinking I am conscious right now. I'm an individual right now because I'm in the body. And we are thinking, oh, once I give up the body, then I don't exist anymore. But that is body conscious. And we are thinking, oh, I'm the body, so I need to 
be happy with the body. That is what's creating our uh, suffering. So as soon as the living entity becomes aloof from the activities of the body, he becomes free from the reactions as well. So now, living in the, inside the body, we are very much in the body. We want to get out of here. We want to get liberated. Yes, yes. But right now, we are inside the body. And because right now we are inside the body, we are continuing to do activities. And by these activities, we are creating our future bodies. So what shall we do that living in the body, we do not get entangled. We do not create further bodies for ourselves because we are going to act. As long as he's in the city of the body, he appears to be the master of, master of it, but actually he's neither its proprietor nor controller of its actions and reactions. It appears, it appears that this body is under our control, but we are neither the owner of the body nor the controller. Why? Because when death comes, we are gonna be pushed out of this body and depends on what is our consciousness, we will be pushed into another body. So we are not the owner or the controller of the body, although we are thinking. He is simply in the midst of the material ocean, struggling for existence. The waves of the ocean are tossing him and he has no control over them. His best solution is to get out of the water by transcendental Krishna consciousness. That alone will save him from all turmoil. So we are inside the body. We are being, you know, we are acting and acting. Each of us have to do some activity because of that. We are re getting some reactions, and so just tossing and turning in this ocean, and struggling, karshati, karshati, struggling for existence in this material world. We want to get out of it as quickly as possible, the the shortest possible way. How do we get out of it? The best solution is to get out of the water by transcendental Krishna consciousness. That is the surest and the shortest, the fastest way to get out of this material world. Fastest way, Krishna consciousness, which begins by hearing and chanting. Continue to hear, continue to chant. And Krishna will save us. Krishna will save us. So that alone will save him from all turmoil. Did you want to add anything? Anyone wanted to add any comments on it? So we can see because we are thinking we are the body, because we are thinking we are the body, we do certain activities, or all our activities rather. All our activities we do because we keep thinking we are the body, we are the body. I am the owner of the body, so I can use the body as however I like to. Then, because of that, we are creating further bodies. Then how can we get out of this material world if we have so many more bodies now to be taken? How? We just call out to Krishna. Krishna, enough. I've had enough. Please, let me get out of here. And that... We can do that easily by chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. Just chant. That's the process given to us by Lord Chaitanya for this, age, for this age of Kali. He has given us this process. Chant the Hare Krishna mantra. And that's the easiest and the fastest way to get out of this ocean of material existence. To cross the ocean of material existence. So please continue to hear and chant. We'll stop here for today. In the translation, what are they trying to say in the translation? The embodied spirit, master of mm -hmm. the city of his body, does not mm -hmm. create activities, mm -hmm. nor does he induce people to act, mm -hmm. nor does he create the fruit of action. All this is enacted by the modes of material nature. Mm -hmm. So we think, right? We think we are the body. And because we think we are the body, the way we interact with other people also is thinking that they are the body. So our total consciousness is based on the body, body consciousness. 
And because of that, we are creating further reactions for ourselves, karmas. Hmm? But we are not able to understand that, hey, this body that I am in right now, it is under the laws of modes of nature. As we spoke yesterday, that why does a dog eat the food, put the mouth directly in the food? And whereas a human being will eat his food with fork and spoon, sit down on table and chair. Because it, it, the, the soul is the same. The soul is the same. Sometimes he's in the body of the dog, sometimes he's in the body of the human being. So the soul is the same. Why is he acting differently? Because each body is under different uh, degrees of control by these modes of nature. Now, you know, somebody might say, oh, I killed someone, but it is not me. You know, I, I was under the modes of nature, so I killed someone. We cannot throw responsibility away like that because we will get the fruits because the desire is ours. Is that yeah. okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. so we can't deflect our responsibility. Mm. The desire comes from us. Yeah. So, did you want to add anything to that? Mm, no, this is perfect. Okay. So, we'll stop here for today. Thank you so much for listening and enjoying it. Shrimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai, Shla Prabhupada ki jai, Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Hare Krishna, Hare Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki